Hello, welcome. Today we're going to be discussing the three areas that need daily focus in order to build a strong network marketing business. Uh, many of you start your day, you're not sure where to go during the day. So what I'm going to do is point out three areas every day you need to work on. Focus on these three areas and you'll see results begin to happen. But before we get started, let me let you know about the the ebook. It's a free ebook. You can always go to jcarden.com, pick it up. It's 20 ways to get leads. So if you're in the need of leads for your network marketing business, just simply go by my blog, put in your name, tell me where to send it, and you can get this ebook absolutely free. Show you 20 cool ways you can get more leads. So always know that that's there and let's get into the content all right area number one is prospecting that is the probably the most crucial especially when you're new when you're new prospecting is basically all you have all everything else is going to take time and effort and work to build up but prospecting you can go straight into it indeed you'll get better at it but what prospecting is even when you begin to get results with the other areas we're going to discuss you're still going to need to prospect getting better at the other areas we're about to get into will only help you prospect more so prospecting is the meat and potatoes you need to be exposing your business to new people every single day you can find prospects using search engines you can just go google a company and distributors certain cities you can find websites with people's information and reach out to them call them email them whatever you can use genealogy leads which i highly recommend because genealogy leads just for some reason seem to work better and that's most likely because the people you speak to already know what network marketing is they already have a love for it so why speak to anyone else just speak to people like that and you'll see better results uh, i'll leave a link in the video below to get you a lifetime of genealogy leads if you're wanting to go that route there'll be a link at the bottom of the video description box that'll show you how you can get genealogy leads for the rest of your life and you never have to pay for them so it's easily to make it's easy to make profit on them you can also get prospects from advertising the leads that you generate from that more market people you know people you meet people you come across you know you run into people all the time so use your more market cold market strangers you know as you meet people in public there you go there's a prospect you need to be working all these avenues and always including more people to speak to on a daily basis if you're speaking to new people introducing new people every single day to your business this area alone can get you to where you want to be it, it, it'll take some time but it'll get you there it's the only one that would probably do it by on, on its own would do the best on its own so area one is prospecting every day make sure you have a set amount of prospects to speak to area two is advertising this is where you're trying to get some name recognition right advertising will generate you better prospects uh, it, it's it gets you more likely to get people that will uh, be reaching out asking for information you know they're, they're coming to you but advertising can also get expensive but you have to have an advertising plan every day going you need advertising running every day this is important to keep better numbers coming in there are two kinds of advertising which is the free advertising such as traffic exchanges safe lists social media posting and messaging classifieds signs and posters that's offline advertising flyers drop cards sticky notes videos articles and blogging all of these are basically free or extremely low cost they have free versions of traffic exchanges for example or paid versions 
with network marketing, traffic exchanges are not going to produce much. Free advertising takes a lot. It takes a lot to get a little, but it's free. And if you're able to put as many of these uh, sources into place as possible, you'll see more prospects come from it. So you want to put as many free methods as possible. If you have no budget whatsoever, it's your only way of advertising. But I would definitely recommend the other type, which is paid advertising, which will bring faster results. And remember, when you quit paying, well, the prospects quit coming. And that is social media ads, Facebook, YouTube, Google, all those sponsored videos. That's actually YouTube. If you're making videos, you can actually uh, on YouTube pay some money and get a lot of people to see your video. Classifieds, uh, the only way I use classifieds now is through the paid version. It's Craigslist.org. Craigslist I will just post, pay for a city and a listing, and I get a lot of leads from a paid ad. Free ads, it it's more time than I need, and since I can afford the uh, classifies on Craigslist, I just go that way because I get quicker results. Solo ads, that's where you're, you pay someone to email their list, you know, and, and if you find somebody who has a good list with people who are interested in what you have, you may get some good results. And you got to play around with solo ads. TV, radio, that's another one. That's a, a good way to get some business. If you've got the money, you can get a lot of exposure through those methods. Pay-per-click, banner and text ads, miscellaneous things. Banner and text ads can also be free. There are places that offer it free, but of course, if you're willing to pay for it, you're going to get a lot more and a lot more exposure. So banner and text ads I use, I have done pay-per-click. I've used solo ads, uh, classifieds, and social media ads. Uh, I've even had a TV commercial. So it is possible to advertise network marketing through some of the big avenues but that that's advertising always make sure you work on your advertising every single day and don't let it neglect your prospecting number three is content this area is really really sweet because it's what a lot of people want to do but content and what i mean by content is creating content that is valuable not necessarily content that's bragging about a company or a product but content that is valuable that serves a purpose and makes the reader reader glad he or she found the content if you're putting up new content or working on it every single day getting more and more out there you will begin to see higher quality prospects. And what's best about content is unlike paid advertising, when you put content out online, a video, a blog, et cetera, it stays and you're not paying for it. So you could write a blog post today or shoot a video today that brings you a lead or a sale two years down the road. Paid ads don't work that way but they're much much faster content is going to be slow so working on it every day will make it quicker so let's go through some ideas of content content is blogging which this video is on a blog perhaps you're on my blog post watching this video if not i would suggest clicking the link at the top of the description and go in and check it out my blog to get an idea of what i'm talking about Article marketing, that's where you go to other, it's not the blogging, you go to other websites and write content on other websites. I do a lot of that. Um, that's useful. I've gotten lots of sales through article marketing. Videos, as you see, I'm just creating a slide video with a little content, some value here. Webinars is another cool way to generate a lot of leads because you advertise an event, you get leads. And then everybody shows up or not everybody usually about a third of the people that register show up and then you have some sales live broadcasting such as facebook live periscope youtube live any of those are live broadcast those you know if you get into that and you just do them every single day you begin to develop an audience go figure right social media postings 
uh, I've seen people like make these big posts on social media and then they put they turn that big long post of content into a paid ad to drive traffic to it and it produces very few leads but yet it produces a few buyers from a few leads because it's so targeted uh guest blogging that's another thing you can do there's a lot of websites out there and other blogs that will allow you to write content for them and when you're doing guest blogging it's kind of like article marketing those websites have an audience there's an audience already there and you're kind of you know raising your hand putting your content in front of that audience so you you don't have to depend on developing your own and you can actually if you're running a blog and i suggest this and you do articles and videos point back to your blog to help build your own audience you can always link to your actual blog through your content and so those are the three areas that are most important that you work on every single day i don't see why you would ever avoid any of these on a daily basis but uh not area three set a schedule i meant to erase area three and just say set a schedule but i'm not going back to fix that so anyway every day you need a schedule if you schedule out what you're going to do during the day you will be way more productive way more productive a problem that a lot of people have is they get on they start let's just say playing on facebook they start reading posts they're not sure where to go so they make another post later they get interested in something else and at the end of the day they did a few facebook posts maybe a tweet somewhere in there so what you want to do is you have every minute planned out ahead of time like right off the bat check your email and then from this time to this time you set up you know all your social media postings and in this hour up to this hour you're on the telephone calling all the leads before finding new prospects and that is where in the beginning especially you want to put a lot of your power into is prospecting and then perhaps at the end of the night when it's like too late or if it's too early in the morning to call people that's the good time to set out creating content and then you could of course publish it at a specific time but you want to focus on knowing exactly what you're going to be doing every single minute when you can do that your time doesn't get wasted you are focused on what to do every single minute so create a schedule for those three areas there's really nothing else you need to work on other than those three areas every single day and have it scheduled out and you will do very well in this business so guys hope you got some value from this be sure to subscribe to my channel and if you're on facebook you can hit me up at jay carden marketing um, if you want to follow me at twitter it's at jay carden and of course my favorite linkedin just type in jay carden you'll find me there so be sure to uh, hit me up subscribe now click the notification bell so you know next time i put out another video and be sure to click the link below and go check out my blog and uh, if you need genealogy leads remember it's at the very bottom of the description box so guys thanks for watching i hope you got value and i will see you on the next video